Hi guys, Mr. VG here. Um, a slightly somber video today. Um, today was going to be a video of the beginning of another of my weight loss journeys. I feel like starting it right before Christmas was not a very sensible idea. Well, that's my excuse anyway. Um, but I had some bad news today, which has kind of made the whole original point of what this video is going to be feel pretty insignificant. Um, so if you didn't know, I've got two cats. We got them last March. Um, they're just shy of a year old. January 19th they were born, I believe. We're pretty sure anyway. Um, and I was asleep this morning and my dad came in and said, are you awake? And I said, yeah. And I could I thought by the tone of his voice it wasn't good. I thought I'd done something wrong or something. Because um, yeah, I do piss him off quite a bit. Um, he goes, oh, I've got some bad news. And whenever I hear that, um, I always instantly think of um, one of my pets either dead or injured or ill. Um, I'm quite lucky in the sense that none of my family, close family members have died when I've been old enough to understand. So I suppose in that sense it's quite lucky, but when I hear I've got some bad news, my first instinct is to think of animals rather than people. Um, and yeah, he said that um, one of my two cats was found um, on the road this morning when my mum left to go to work um, presumably hit by a car um, so yeah not something you want to wake up to um, she was a really nice cat really friendly really pretty markings really pretty cat in general um, and yeah it's really sad um, Fudge her name was and this is her sister Poppy so say hello Poppy. Yes. And uh, so this video is going to be dedicated to Fudge. And uh, yeah. We'll miss your sister, won't we? Hey? So yeah. Uh, what the original idea for a video I was going to do today was, was kickstarting a new weight loss regime for the new year, seeing as it's only the 2nd of January, pretty much a, pretty much a new year, nobody really starts on New Year's Day because you're so hungover. Um, so I went up to Lidl and bought um, some scales, like ones that connect to your smart thing, so it works out your BMI, um, fat percentage, muscle percentage, um, water retention. Um, and a rough bone mass. Uh, I can't remember what my bone mass was though because it doesn't show up on the app. I think it just shows on the scale, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, so I will put a screenshot from my phone now of my results. So this is day one and it's a good way of keeping track um, as opposed to using old uh, non-electronic scales. It's good to link. It's good. It links up to your phone. I don't know. It's more accurate. It gives you a very in-depth detail. It tells me that I'm obese, which I knew. Um, I didn't quite realise how far percentage-wise over the um, normal weight I am. So I've got quite a long way to go before I'm not classed as overweight. Uh, but yeah, this is the start of my weight loss journey, the third attempt on my channel, on this channel, and uh, probably about the tenth time I've restarted a fitness regime in my life. Um, hopefully this time it'll stick. Um, I don't really have any more motivation than any previous time, I just think the way that you can track track all your progress on this app seems pretty decent and it I want to, I'll, I'll easily see the progress because even if I lose just point one of a kilo 
it will still show up that I've made progress. Whereas when I'm getting on the old um, Imperial scales, yeah, Imperial scales, it doesn't look too different. So, so yeah, thanks for checking this video out. As I said, this, this video is dedicated to my cat Fudge, who uh, sadly died today. And uh, check back, um, probably, what's it today, Thursday. Check back on Sunday, and I'll do an update. Cheers, bye.